If you didn't want to take it, you didn't have to throw it across the floor. And the bird poops on me. Ow. You're going to want to stay tuned to the end of the video because I have very important news. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Everyone is sick. Olivia has been sick. For a few days. For a few days, and now. Yes, you're sick. Jesse, how are you feeling? Sick. And Madeline. Jesse's sick. And Madeline's sick too. <laughs> well, Madeline's finally feeling better. Yeah, but yeah. we're not. So we thought we would take you guys along on a sick day from homeschooling? This one is actually supposed to be in preschool right now. She still has a slight temperature, so obviously we can't send her to school. I don't know, do you have a temperature? I don't know. He, he has a slight temperature. I'm gonna go check. Uh, the thermometer is down on my desk. Okay. You can get it if you want. Let me see it. 99.6. Olivia was also reading 99.4. Olivia, though, is in much higher spirits. Uh-huh. Aren't you? Yeah, and you're a lower spirit. <laughs> yeah, you're a lower spirit. <laughs> Olivia is in much higher spirits. Mm -hmm. This morning, the kids normally do not come downstairs. Like when I'm getting ready and stuff. Everybody was downstairs this morning. Uh-huh. And you came back with Starbucks. I did. You're so sweet. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Olivia has decided to do makeup. Okay. Daddy's trying to help with makeup. Okay. You can you do it? Can you? Nope. Yeah. Can't color. Yep, yeah, that's a little bit. That goes on your eyelid, sweetie. Okay. On your eyelid. Close your eyes. Like right, right up in there. Did you have See? Oh. Do the other eye. Right. <laughs> you did such beautiful artwork on your eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Where should I put it? On your lips. Oh, gorgeous. Well done. So, how exactly does this sick day at homeschooling work? Anybody know? Uh, I'm pretty sure you still, you still do your schoolwork. That's what it's like to be a mom. Yeah. Still do your work. Yeah, they still doesn't work. That's why are you using this? Okay, nice. You get half a day. We'll make you do half a day. Uh -huh. So you work this morning, and you get the rest of the day off to rest. Okay? But you have to work this morning. What do you think, Jesse? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. No, you can go to work. All right. Love Thank you. you for the Starbucks. You're welcome. Love you, bye. Jesse, if you're sick, you can't have Starbucks. You can't have milk. You can't have milk? No, you can't have dairy. No, you're you're allowed to drink juice when you're sick. Juice and water. Juice and water. Well, 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 well my juice has water in it. You're getting the best food. Yeah, see? Love you, bye. Love you, bye. And have a good day at school or work. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good day at work. Thanks. I'm good. Thanks for the Starbucks. You're welcome. Bye, Dad. Bye.
gonna roll around on the battle deck. You heard Alan, I have no breakfast morning. <laughs> I'm just waiting for school. No, I don't. I, I'm sick. Yeah. yeah, no, Olivia's not gonna go to school. We can't send her to school. Yeah, because I'm with sick. With a slight temperature. Yeah, because I'm stable because yeah. I'm sick. So, Jesse, how does this work? Are you up for doing schoolwork? Not a lot, just, you know, something. I'll let you choose. Do you want to work on spelling words? Do you want to work on typing? Do you want to work on, like, your math or something on the computer? Um, something on the computer. I go for typing. It doesn't require a lot of thinking. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. All right, why don't you do some typing? Unless you guys, I really want to go outside. Like, it's sunny. So can I do typing outside? I mean, you could, but I mean, do you want to go outside and play for a little bit? Hmm. No, you can do your typing outside. I want a chance to jump on the bike this morning, so. Yeah, and I'm gonna blow bubbles. Sounds like plan. And we have to get our coats. Um, I think maybe you need to get some clothes on. And, and, and get my shoes on and my coat. What are what are you wearing? My shark pajamas. You're still in your shark pajamas, aren't you? Yeah. These are the new ones. She has the little mermaid and the little shark pajamas. Yeah. Can she get my bubbles out? Yeah, we'll get your bubbles. So that was very short lived. After a bird pooped on my arm, guys. <laughs> Hilarious. No, no, I don't find that so funny. Like that has never ever happened to me before. Has that ever happened to any of you guys? <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm now scrubbed my arm twice. What does that mean? <laughs> can't be a good sign. You try to be good, get some fresh air, some exercise. I thought some fresh air would do the kids good, make them feel a little better, some sunshine, and the bird poops on me. Ow. One level. Can you do one more? I finished up to the level two. How about I find you some medicine and you do one more love? Deal? Okay. It's just a chewable tablet. Now it drains down your throat and makes you feel crappy. Yep. Oh, no, Madeline. Wow, that sucker's flying. <laughs> If you didn't, if you didn't want to take it, you didn't have to throw it across the floor, kiddo. <laughs> you can take it out. Yeah. Good. That's an interesting taste. <laughs> well, they don't make medicine taste good. They make it to be effective. Go nice and slow. So you keep it nice and straight.
job. Look at that. You made the house. Okay, let's do the letter A. nutrition in you. I think you're feeling much better. Mm -hmm. Ready for your nap now? Okay. Alexa, play white noise. I love you. You're nuggly. You're cozy. Night, night. Have a good nap. Yeah, it'll probably be helpful if you close your door. So Jesse normally doesn't take a nap, but since he's not feeling well today, I've asked him to go ahead and lay down and rest for a little bit. Maybe make you feel better? Yeah. Alright, yeah, you can close your door. They woke up from their naps, and they're just watching TV. Hey, Miles. Hey, kiddos. What's up with the chair? Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't quite find that answerable except I don't quite find that answer acceptable. Oh, thank you. That is a much better answer. Thank you. Picking up your lid. Honey, it's easier if you watch what you're doing instead of the TV. You want your apples for a snack? Jesse, did you finish your apple? Yeah. That is pretty much what they'll do the rest of the evening. Just watch some TV, chill out, relax, and not do a whole lot. I think it's perfectly reasonable to not really expect a lot of the kids when they're sick because I know I don't want to do a lot when I'm sick. So it only seems fair. But I don't want them to think that they have absolutely no responsibilities when they're sick because it doesn't work that way when you're an adult. We make sure the workload is a lot lighter and a lot less, but they still have some expectations of just accomplishing something and getting something done. That way they have a better understanding of that when they're an adult. Oh, and you guys, we are so excited that we were actually featured on a special news segment 
called the Autism Puzzle. Jared Somali has been doing this for, I think, about 12 years. He does a wonderful job. He has two children on the spectrum, so obviously this is very near and dear to his heart, but they give out like a lot of information and access to resources. So it's a really cool segment that airs every single April, minus last year, because obviously the pandemic had just hit. I'll go ahead and insert that clip for you guys so you can watch it. A year ago, this show did not air as scheduled. You know why. The same reason many of our lives were so severely affected over the past year. COVID-19 was and remains a massive challenge. And for people with autism spectrum disorder, those challenges were amplified in virtually every aspect of their lives. Some families found unique paths to get through. I still felt the same. Just knowing a bit more about myself, it, it felt a little nice to know. What? It had already been an eventful two years for the Atkinson family. They moved from West Virginia to Columbus to seek out new resources for their son, Jesse, who was recently diagnosed with autism, dyslexia, and ADHD. He was 12 at the time. The family moved in, and shortly thereafter, so did the pandemic. I mean, it was a big adjustment for all of us to be home all at the same time, all day, seven days a week. I think it actually brought us closer together. That meant adjustments. Ashley Atkinson documented those changes via a video blog on YouTube. It started with learning from home. What does letter mean? Le a letter is a letter in the alphabet or a letter like you send in letters? So it was a lot of distractions and then of course lots of you know reminders from us of you gotta, you're in class, you look, <laughs> pay attention <laughs> to your class. The teacher can't really see, she has to look like, or he or she has to look on to the electronic that they're using and see if, like if you're raising your hand or something like that. And that led to frustration. Wanna get this done and over with? I understand that feeling. But some pandemic changes were adopted somewhat quickly, like mask wearing. Cause we have them hanging by our door. And so whenever we go, like he just grabs it. And he, he tells us, he's like, did you get your mask? Yeah. It was very important for us to demonstrate it and do it in a way of this isn't a big deal. This is, you know, it's different, but it's just like you have to wear a shirt. You have to wear a mask. Yeah. This is what you do. It took months and really we're all still adjusting to life at a distance. But the Atkinsons say the time brought them closer together. And for Jesse, he's thriving. It's still the same child as before the diagnosis. They, they don't change. It's still the same person that they were a week before they got diagnosed. His performance at school has greatly improved. His self-confidence. Yeah. People can adjust, but it's really hard to. Once you adjust, it becomes a part of your life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As it is the end of April, this will be our last Friday vlog, but we do put out videos every single Tuesday, and we are gonna have a lot going on in May and June. If you ever wanna know when we're posting things like that, we usually announce those over on Instagram, so you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. I'll link them down in the description bar below if you wanna check us out there. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Click on this video. Will you please click on this video? Come on, push it. Can you please subscribe? Can you please push that subscribe button? Or for the other video, you can press this button. Go on, click this button or this button or this button. Well, mostly this button. I would like it if you did.